Hey everyone, I'm Alexis Ego Queen. Love me. I know you do. Anyway, we are joined again by Vig for another episode of Queen's Court. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Vigi the GM, and welcome back to the Queen's Court. Now, for a bit of housekeeping. Uh, Squishy, due to unforeseen circumstances, has sadly had to step away for some time. Damn you, Magnus. And instead, for a short time, Imperial Knight will be joining instead. Hello, I'm an Imperial Knight, and I will be playing the role of Baltarvok. Excellent. When we last left our heroes... Go wave, Magnus. When we last left our heroes... After talking down Guljin's bodyguard, Guljin himself began speaking in an unknown language and limped dead to the floor afterwards. The acolytes search the study and find clues relating to a man named Skinner. Erasing the bodyguard's memory of the situation and exiting Hestenhan's manor, the warband heads back down into the mid-hive to find an informant that Detective Oberon knows. They arrive at a food vendor run by a man named Otris Briggs. Otris serves them a warm meal, excluding Oberon, and informs them that this Skinner character is the leader of a cloud boy gang named The Baby Faces, and that their normal hangout is at the Screaming Wheel Cantina. Unfortunately, Oberon must temporarily take leave of the group to deal with a personal errand. And we return. Now, we are currently now, still in the bar, correct? You are still in the... You are about to leave from the main... Uh, from the food vendor that Briggs is operating. Very well. So, so a s small walk about... Uh, Co coincidentally enough, it will take four hours, which is exactly enough for uh, our demon bait to get all of its toughness back. So let me just go. Oop, you're back to 44. Oh, wait, 43? No, wait. Uh, so let's say 44. I think that's what it was. All right. And do. You. It, the walk down, uh, further down into the mid-hive takes, as previously stated, roughly four hours, and you arrive at the designated location of the Screaming Wheel. However, as you look around, you see that the cantina itself is nowhere to be seen, but do roll an awareness test for me. Just uh, plus ten, everyone. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
God damn it. Turn it up. I did on my end. All right. Excellent. Uh, with Harlock in position and the team, uh, rest of the team, outside of the cantina, you can hear loud music uh, uh, reverberating throughout the gantry hmm. as... Hmm. I'm going to put on my comms really quickly so only the team can hear me. Mm-hmm. With all this loud music, it should be easy to sneak up on these, on these people. Harlock, you're you're in position. Pumping. Spoon? Yep. What's so, up? Did you was, hear Alexis? It's just no, I didn't. She cut out for me. Uh, yeah. I'm terribly sorry. Um, where did I cut out? I think you just might want to start over. Okay. <laughs> With all of this music, it'll be easy to sneak up on these people. Harlock, are you in position? You might be surprised. Incidentally, no, oh, sorry. Incidentally, your combeats do have white noise filters, meaning talking through them would be quite easier than trying to shout at each other through the noise. Well, good. Will you uh, final approach as you enter? Yep. Excellent. We will now, boom. Also, uh, zoom out on the map. It's uh, quite big. Rejoin this player. Okay. This looks um. Very interesting. Fancy. Reminds me of home. Your home sucks. <laughs> That's Are why you... I left it. Do you bring any music? Yes. Guys, what's our strategy? Try to avoid shooting. Okay, I can agree with that. Not be conspicuous? Well, obviously, but how do we... Do we just walk in? I think we should walk in staggered. Not as a group. They probably know we're on our way. Places like this tend to have scouts to keep an eye out for local... Oddities. Yes. Look, the easiest way is just to walk in there and act like you own the place. Best way to go in any situation is act like you belong there. <laughs> All right. After you, princess. I'm going to push the doors open and walk in with the group. Place yourself down near the name. There's the... That's the entrance. How do I do so that again? drag your token. Drag so your token your from... The your character where you usually click your open name it. And drag it. Okay. Um, I can't get my All character right. sheet back up. You so just close it. And, yeah, it, not the journal on the sheet itself, but the journal in the top right, next to the music note and pictures. Yeah, yeah I'm clicking that. It won't. Um, click just, and drag. Click and drag to the thing. Okay, got yeah. it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank so, uh, place yourself up front because you know you want to. So, you said I'm on a. I'm on like a luck will be like perpendicular. Off yeah, you're right. you're off screen. Oh, perpendicular was the word I was I was going to use that, but stopped. So, yeah. So I didn't hear there your you complete go. description. There's like I guess windows or some. There are something. no windows on this building. I'm afraid to say so. As you step inside the screaming wheel, the odor of stale low smoke and obscura, the stench of body sweat and loud pounding music issuing from a tinny box system assault your senses. Even compared to the street outside, the place is dark, lit only by a few weak glow globes and chemical lumen signs. 
An assortment of unsavory-looking patrons populate the room, from obvious gangers in battle leathers and electus to vacant-eyed laborers strung out on camps. Only a few bother to look up as you enter. Behind the bar, a heavy-set man in clean glasses with a dirty cloth clutched in his poorly maintained claw of a bionic arm. Seated at the table at the far end of the room, several well-coiffed, rakish fellows, appearing quite out of place, laugh as a man in manufactorum coveralls seemingly pleads with them. As you can see on the right side of the room, said rakish fellows are torturing the uh, ungainly fellow in front of them. Uh, well, torturing is a strong word, but they are laughing and uh, humiliating some him somewhat. What are you going to do, Alexis? Interesting. I think I'm going to walk over to the bartender and talk to him first. Excellent. So start moving yourself just at a slow pace. Brett, Tobian, what is your move? I want to try and hear what's going on over there. So are you going to yeah. eavesdrop? Yeah. What is That's that awareness? Excellent. Are you going to move closer or attempt it from there? Oh, I thought you meant like... So can I just go there and be perfectly fine? Um, move to... Uh, yeah, that's, uh, you can uh, just move yourself there and we'll come back to you later. Okay, gotcha. The dude at the table in front of me, is he just like uh, one of the laborers or one of the people who he looked up? He, he appears to be... Uh, staring down at his drink. He was not the one, uh, one of the few that looked up. Also, you need to click the mouse at the top. Not the, you appear to have the uh, yeah, I was, measurement. Yeah, I was show showing you where I was gonna go. Oh, right. So, just move thine self. Just move it well. There you uh, go. Yeah, Toby. Not in combat movements, not really that big of a deal. Okay. So. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter, actually, how far. As you can see, Alexis just straight up moved herself halfway across the map, but uh, Toby, were you... Oh, Move fair enough. And sit down. Fair Not going to eavesdrop, but just kind of just looking everything. Fine. Uh, roll an awareness minus 10 for the pounding music. Everyone, or just... Uh, just you, since you're specifically going to uh, listen. Uh, Vigi, out of character, I cannot hmm? get my, um, my character sheet to pop up. Did you cut up? Uh, no, I just, I can't get my character sheet to work. Uh, try refreshing the page. Okay. Let's hope that doesn't mess with everything. Did you add a... Wait, you rolled a... Minus 10, you said, right? Yeah? Wait, why did you just roll a D100 with no... Ah, mm. He's not trained in awareness, yeah. so he already has his negative 20. Yeah. yeah, that's right. You need to, to crit. Man, you are unaware of your situations. I right. hear the voices, too. <laughs> it's the demon again. Fair enough. See My turn to roll. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, with the pounding music, you can you cannot hear anything, but you are still aware of your surroundings only visually, seeing how you are uh, with your back to them, and and I'm guessing you're not glancing over at them. Well, I was kind of thinking like I was sitting at an angle to where I kind of grab the ruler. All right, I'm, you. I'm you kind can of looking from like here. Yeah, kind of like here because yeah. I'm sitting at an angle. From the corner of your eye, you yeah. can see the, the man. I can see them just barely. Yeah. In the corner. Out of the corner of your eye, you can barely see the man in the manufactorum overalls on his knees, pleading something fierce to that man uh, in the chair, uh, on the uh, bottom chair of the right table. AV, can I roll now, or? Y you can uh, roll now to see if you can listen in on the conversation. 
You nope. don't make it with a mi- yeah. Plus ten, nah, 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 minus ten, yes, indeed. The you all you can hear is the desperate pleading of the man. The uh, rakish fellows are a bit too uh, soft-spoken to be heard across the music. All right, back to Alexis. Uh, before I make my final approach to this man. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to open up comms again. Guys, I'm approaching the bartender. Is there any questions that you want me to ask him? Well, first, ask to buy a drink. Don't just open up with a question. What do you under Hiver's drink? Just ask whatever passes as a drink. That's for the house special. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else I should ask him? Inquire about the manufacturer, man, if you can. And we're Just after don't... information on the wailing children? The baby faces. Baby faces, got it. Okay. I'm gonna make my final approach to him. The man cleaning his uh, cleaning his uh, the glasses looks up at you and said, Hmm, don't usually get them fancy folk around here. Other than those uh, masked yeah. freaks over there, what can I do for you? Those masked freaks are a little bit weird. What are they doing it, here? Oh, they anyway, usually. I'll take a house special. How many? Oh, just one for me for now. One house special coming up. Now, those uh, uh, aforementioned freaks over there. They uh, usually sit down here, harass the customers, but they usually pay for their drinks. Hmm. Are they a nuisance or just whatever? They keep things interesting, but I wouldn't want them for long if they start shooting. Start shooting? So do they have weapons on them? I do believe they do. Well, I mean, this is the... If you guys aren't packing weapons, what are you even doing down here? Indeed, most observant of you, my lady. Hmm. What else? Can can you tell me about these um these these little rascals called the uh, baby faces? I do believe we just spoke of them. Oh, they are them? indeed. Interesting. But. There are some uh, wealth, uh, some wealthy scions of uh, some houses from the apex, coming down here and wreaking havoc as they go, doing as they please. But they, uh, they, as long as they pay, I won't dare throw them out. As long as the tips are good, right? Indeed, and the rich folk too tend to pay, as he slides towards you a somewhat clean glass with a almost clear liquid in it. I'm going to pick it up, examine it. Do you smell it? Yeah, I'm going to. There is a tiny whiff of machine oil about the drink. Not uh, anything dangerous, just the content of the barrel that this drink was brewed in may have served a different purpose in its previous life. I'm gonna put it up to my lips while looking at the guy. What can you tell me about that Mechanicum guy over there? Are you pointing down? Uh, the guy over here in the corner. Yeah, yeah. That fellow, hmm, he, he came here some time ago. He has bought a few drinks, and he's paid every one of them. He hasn't said much. He keeps looking back at those baby faces. Well, thank you for the information. I'm going to give him a tip and pay for my drink. Much obliged. Um, Is that it for my turn, or can I do more? Let's uh, let's go to the 
other uh, other party members. Yep, that's what I figured. Toby and uh, Toby and, and Brecht, do you have anything you wish to do? Um, I'll um, yeah move over to the bar. All right. You uh, yes, Harlock, you can because you're the only one who can speak without being heard over her. It, that is. Yeah, while you guys are, uh, this whole thing's going down, Harlex slips inside the door and just takes a, just leans up in a, in a, like, in a corner, just, you know, position like you Exactly. Goggles on, respirator on his neck, just looking like a don't fuck with me kind of person. Indeed. With a big ass rifle on his back, people generally will abide by that rule. I mean, I'm also carrying a big ass rifle on my back. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually, <laughs> Spoon. I thought you were going to be smart and stay outside. But I hope yeah, your choice. Windows. Your choice. I, I mean, besides, I'm worried about cover. those trees popping up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get you wherever you go. Fucking surprise tree came out of nowhere. <clears throat> Damn tree courtists. Bal, would you like to take your turn, or Bal, actually? Yes, uh, as soon as these individuals enter the bar, I will first take out my data pad and begin writing down notes, just taking their measure and making certain observations about them, such as their weapons and not really their intention, but just if they're looking for a fight or if they're just here to observe or on a mission. And as... Uh, the woman uh, asks about me. I simply keep my head down, not bothering to give her any attention. Not worth it, really. Excellent. Now, as this is all going on, the man uh, that is pleading before the, the what must be the leader of the baby phases, the leader moves in front bids the man to stand up, and Harlock roll an awareness test. Minus 10. Actually, seeing how close you are, actually don't bother with the minus 10. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, you might want to use one of your fate points. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Yeah. 37. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Um. Missed it by that much. Actually, partial success. So, you hear uh, only uh, barely a whisper as the man, uh, the manufacturer and worker, is, stands up as he is bid, and the leader leans over and whispers into the man's ears, Worry not, I will release you from your debts. And proceeds to stab him multiple times in the gut. The man is now uh, bleeding profusely on the ground. And he sits back down and shouts, Camille! Clean up this mess. It's getting on my nerves. <sighs> and the other baby faces laugh heartily at this. <laughs> rebel, 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 rebel. And the bartender starts slowly moving towards the dead man. Who wishes to take the next turn? Um, Toby. How did you do that ping? I just held down. You hold down control and then click and it'll do that. No, button. I was just clicking. Oh, just clicking works. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, was it? Really? Yeah, yep. it works. <laughs> also, yeah, I rush over to one to take the next and ask to look at, uh, take a look at the person. Uh, Use Medicaid. Oh, um, roll for it. Roll uh, Medicaid plus 10. Can I run over with him? You, go ahead. Oh, 
Uh, at this point, I keep my I, my eyes solely on the body and the people gathering around it. All right. Taking profuse notes. I'd like to roll awareness on this tech priest. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, also, to uh, answer your Medicaid test, you made it by one. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Holy crap. That's an 11. All right, I'll do the... Uh, finish off the Medicaid. This man needs immediate medical attention, though he does seem to be suffering from internal hemorrhaging, and there's would be not much you can do except ease his suffering. So just give the poor bastard the Emperor's mercy. I'm gonna clench I my mean, fist around, clench my hand around my Brand, fist I believe. On my side. Put this man down. I don't think a chain sword would be. No, I have a or... pistol. Do you? I'm gonna hold the pistol to the man's head and just like shake while I. I'm the, man, the man. The uh, man holding, uh, trying to hold in the blood, uh, the blood that's leaking profusely out of his body, pleads, uh, looks at you with pleading eyes, uh, saying uh, almost. Uh, but I'm pleading with his eyes, do it. Come on, princess. I... I... I can't. I grab the pistol from her hand and just shoot him. Ew! And the man falls limp to the ground. And I push a it back onto her chest. A scorch mark. I'm just gonna head. look there in shock, just like... I take profuse notes about what I just witnessed. <laughs> Excellent. And you can see the door, uh, through the door, the man dumping this man's body over the gantry as it, uh, and it falls. I'm gonna put my gun away, do the sign of the Aquila on my chest and say it's in the Emperor's hands now. I like something to pop up over the, uh, you know, the, the common room and be like, welcome to the real world, princess. I'm going to pull the bar sender walks back up to you. What was that? Oh, you go first. The bartender walks back up to you, uh, trying to clean his hands into his, uh, into his apron, and says, worry not, he'll be taken down into the gallows way, rendered down into his base components. He will serve there too, and starts walking back to behind the bar. Oh, shit, <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> ah, all Don't of a sudden, votes. This is not Ant Man. <laughs> Quick, shoot this heretic. He's a mutant. He parts like a plague. Now, to answer your excellent awareness che check, Brecht. You can see that the tech priest looks quite large. Actually, this is a perfect opportunity for uh, for Baal to describe his appearance. Knight, knight, you please. Do you want me to just read straight from the bio or just wing just it? Read, just read straight from the bio. Don't do, uh, give any uh, anything that uh, that isn't just visual. That's all right. Okay. Uh, Bal Tarvok stands about six foot four and bulkier than you expect from your standard tech priest. He's just got a little bit more muscle mass. Where he has muscle, uh, he wears a bright red flak robe with a black trim that is rent and torn, allowing sight of, into his mechanical insides. Some of his more notable features are radiation burned flesh, uh, his bald head with an implanted cranial armor, and his bionic arm. Although those with good eye can tell that he is still efficient with both of his hands. That's pretty much where we, what you got, but were you looking for anything specific? Just seeing if he was, you know, because uh, Alex or Rem asked about him, just seeing if he was doing anything of note. He appears to be scribbling down on his data slate his hand moving quite quickly. 
do I see that he's just kind of staring at the others? Between looking down on his data slate and looking at everything that's happening, he appears to be quite observant of the situation. Uh, I would also like to mention that right near my data slate is my... I am armed with a small revolver that is visible. I'd like to key my comms and say to the others, Hey, this tech priest is taking is giving us eyeballs, taking notes. I don't trust this dude. All tech priests are manic for information. Yes, but very seldom is it about people. <laughs> You'd be surprised. An interesting note to make. An excellent observation, but pull one to the side. And whisper in her ear, if you're gonna kill someone, you better fucking do it, or I'm gonna kill you. Don't say fucking. Sorry. Yeah, that's I not will. A, that's not yeah, a I, know, I know. I will reinforce this. I'm gonna My bad. To him and just, like, still shaking, just be like, I'm sorry. Roll for me a willpower. Alexis, that is. Yeah. Or Rand to keep it in. Plus 20. Uh, willpower. Ooh, barely didn't make it. But I still made it. But you still made it. So, oh, yeah, you barely made it. I was uh, looking at the numbers in the wrong order. Excuse moi. <clears throat> now, next action, who would like to take the initiative? Or seize the initiative? Keep 40k. Uh, I'm still shaken, so I'm just going to stand here momentarily. Tobian returns back to the bar, standing right next to Brecht. Mm. Two, please. I look at the bartender. He starts filling up two drinks of the same clear liquid that uh, Ren left at the bar uh, at the... No, I'm still carrying my drink with me. Oh, you're still carrying it? Yeah. Well, had you failed that willpower test, I would have made you drop it, so... <laughs> I'm actually going to start drinking that now. It is a, has a strong alcoholic flavor to it. Not much in the terms of anything else, but the... the hey, there's this bitter taste of what you can only guess is uh, the essence of mach uh, of machine oil, lubricants, something. You're not quite sure. But the bartender fills up two, uh, two glasses and slides them towards you. I'm guessing you pay him Oathcock payment, so he just looks at it, scans it, uh, puts it down into his uh, uh, to his uh, to his reader, and you come off uh, uh, just fine for your payment. Drinks in hand, what will you do? I'll I'll drink it. Did I did I offer it to you? <laughs> I, I mean, drink you you asked for two drinks. There's two of you there. The bartender slid them to each of you, so he thought you were buying him a drink. Right before Ezio reaches for the drink, I snatch it. <laughs> <laughs> Dick move, bruh. Alright, I I'm gonna walk And I proceed to drink time. both of them. <laughs> it happens success. Roll for me a toughness test. Plus 20. Jesus. The yeah, yeah, you make it easy. Like... Down it. Tough son of a bitch. Like these aren't even shot sides. These are just regular drinks in real uh, in full size glasses. So that wasn't a small amount of alcohol. But having weathered the alcoholic content of the glasses quite reasonably, there's a small the tang of it won't leave the top of your mouth, uh, the roof of your mouth. But 
everything appears in just fine. So, next move. I'm going to walk over to him. All right. I'm, I'm going to approach our observant little tech priest friend. All right. Who wants to go first, if anyone wants to go first? Um, I will, because mine's pretty easy. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to, like, shake myself back to, you know, getting everything understood and everything. I'm going to look at him and just be like, um, have you noticed anything strange about these guys? Besides the way they look. Harlock, it's you. Oh, sorry. Uh, other than the fact that they're called the baby faces, I mean, they look like your standard, you know, trash. Also, uh, if you want a better look at them, this is what they look like up close. That actually helps a lot. Yeah. Hmm. Even for a hype city, they look like a bunch of damn freaks. Fruitcakes. Freaks, not fruitcakes. Yeah. <laughs> not both. Well, I certainly have a interesting choice of outfit. And uh, professional tip: never draw your weapon unless you're, in, you know, you actually plan to kill somebody. Usually escalates things. Just for future reference. Sorry. Don't apologize, just fix it. Ren, roll for me an awareness test. No minus. This is not audio based or uh, sound based, whatever it's called. Awareness. Oh. Well done. <laughs> that, alright, let's give you some actual good info on this. Uh, the man sitting over here, wait, why can't I? Come on, and there you go. The man sitting down there appears, uh, although you can't see the movement of his eyes, the motions that he's making with his head, he appears to be checking you out. Uh, well, let's get some information, I guess. I'm going to walk up to him. All right. Up close, you can see that the master in... Whoop, repeat that, you broke up for a minute. Oh, sorry. As you are uh, moving up close to this man, you can see that he's wearing quite fine clothing with his, poot his boots being polished, his arm, uh, his clothing being almost spot uh, spotless, and his mask, uh, hiding most of his face, uh, appears of quite excellent make. And he looks at you uh, as he looks towards you, and uh, moving his head up and down in a uh, in a. Uh, and he appears to be uh, well. He isn't hiding the fact that he's just straight up staring at you, and he has a huge grin on his face. Can I see his eyes? I know that's a weird thing, but can I see his eyes? You cannot. Uh, as you can, as you can uh, in the picture that I threw out, and I'll just throw it out again, they are all blocked, as you can see. Yep, fair enough. Yeah. Just, yeah, that is uh, a fair question, and it has been answered. Now. Didn't expect to see an upper hiver down here. Well, of course not. The, the men the egg pairs usually don't dare to come down here, but I'm a more adventurous man. Whoops, can you repeat that? You're breaking up again. Oh, you want a robot? Hold on. I'm gonna close some stuff real quick. Uh, what's this? Here we go. 
As he's about to talk, I'm going to check out what he's actually holding as for weaponry and everything. Roll scrutiny against perception. Did it clear up? Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. That must that seems to have worked. Um, scrutiny. Beep boop. I'm a deep. Ooh, damn. You don't have scrutiny, so that explains it. But you were close. Looking at him, he does not appear to be armed. Well, well that's... Well, he has a knife. You know that he has a knife, but that uh, if he has any further weapons, you can't tell. Okay, so he was about to talk. He was about to talk, and say, uh, you asked not... Uh, you were surprised at him being down here. Yep. And, and he was... Oh, he responds with, Of course, it is unusual to see men of the apex down here. I myself am more adventurous than that, and and I can enjoy the little things in life. Uh, as he gestures towards the blood splatters on the floor that has been dragged towards the entrance. Yeah, I noticed. Huh. Uh, actually, let's... Uh, put a pause on this here and go to Brecht because I feel like uh, you're forwarding the main plot. So let's yep. uh, finish up the other conversation. It's happening at the same time. Yep, no problem. So, so Brecht, what are you doing to this tech priest? Uh, I'm just going to turn to him with my gas mask off, just kind of hanging from my neck. I'm just like, interesting afternoon we're having here, ain't it? The flesh passes on. Nothing new there. These are certainly not affairs new in a hive world. But what brings one of y you here? You people. You... <laughs> My attack. Who you calling, you people? <laughs> it, it wasn't intended that way, but I could see it. <laughs> uh, this slight against me causes this is a noticeable twitch in both my fingers and my eye. I uh, just just a, almost a small spasm, and I try my best to calm down as I continue speaking. I will forgive your slight, maybe, but I am here on matters that do not concern you, sir. You seem awfully interested in the people surrounding the body. Just making note of my surrounding. Nothing wrong with that. No, certainly not. Roll scrutiny against fellowship. Brecht, that is. Also, people driving past Alexis' house is perfect because it's everything that's on top of this cantina. Yep. Man, oh man. <laughs> like Kids most like most of the cog boys that you have served with, this one is as uh, unreadable and obtuse as ever. But you can continue the conversation. Anyway... I'm simply making note of the actions of those around me, such as your friend who seemed a bit, well, let us say hesitant to apply what you people call the emperor's mercy. Yes, well, killing is something you must get used to. Indeed. Okay, can I interject? But you won't. I, 
Uh, what was that, Toby? Can I interject real quick? You can. Uh, just right. I asked the bartender for another drink. Oh. I moved down to Breck. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And I slide it to the tech priest. Breck, Breck. Me, Breck. Sorry, there's more of them. Breck, quit being such a hard ass. Let me get you a drink. I'm not being a hard ass, it's just a civil conversation. By the looks of it, and it's twitching, you're being a hard ass. Fair enough. If you're so interested in the dead body, he had one puncture in the lung, another through his other lung to his heart if you're so interested in the dead body sadly I cannot save him Paul as, as they uh, talk I quietly lift up my hand and show my palm uh, on it is a glowing inquisitorial sigil The inquisitorial eye device yep. that marks him out as a member of the Inquisition. It is not a rosette. It, it, um, he does not have full authority. How do you respond to this new development? Uh, Inquisition. I've Interesting. I certainly can't say I'm surprised after the day I've been having. And I can't say I'm very impressed with what's before me. Ouch. What a dick. I don't seek to impress, only to serve. As is your cognitive function. As is my duty. If that's what you wish to call it. I want to interject so bad, but I can't. Sorry. In a low voice, I go and lean into him and ask, Did Hunt sent you? I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat what you said? Did Hunt send you? I don't believe that's any of your business at this moment. Perhaps in time I will reveal more. All right. Seeing how most of the conversation is resolved, well, to a somewhat satisfactory degree, we will now move back to the other side of the room. I do believe you uh, were going to say that, uh, ask something, Alexis. Um, <clears throat> so, I hear that the Upper Hive got a few notable properties from you. Oh, so you have heard of us. Hmm. Yes, it, I may be a sur uh, supplier of items of significant interest to parties who are willing to pay extravagant amounts of money for it. So, in a roundabout way, yes. Interesting. Well, where do you get such objects from? Roll charm. Well, do you do, do you wish to use a fate point to automatically succeed? I do have charm. I'm gonna roll first and then possibly use a fate point. Uh, Not do to note auto succeed, but to re-roll because I know I can't do that. It, excellent. That is how it works. 
Yeah, let, we're gonna use a fate point. Mm. You walk up and kick him right in the dick. <laughs> oh, oh fucking hell! Yep, he shoots him in the dick. God oh. damn it! Holy shit! How do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, kick in the she, dick. She you got, you got a piece of. <clears throat> oh, piece, piece, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I got this. This. I, I apologize in advance, Alexis. Not to your character, but to you. <clears throat> At this question, the man stands up, dusts off his, his clothing in a mock gesture, leans up to you and says, ah, I do believe I have uh, some business to attend to, and besides, I only partake of the finest ass, so if you'll excuse me. Oh, you son of a... And he starts walking and motion to his men to start walking with him. And they're just walking Name slowly. Your price. Uh, at this, uh, roll another... Uh, <laughs> roll another charm test. I'm gonna auto-succeed this one. Uh, Excellent. Point. Excellent. At this, the man stops in his tracks and looks around and says, Oh, naming my price, you say? <laughs> oh, oh, I can either give you any amount that you, you ask from the bountiful wealth of my people, or are you interested in something else? Ooh, and just who might your people be? I come from the Roseless family. Never heard of them. Maybe not on this planet. Maybe not, but here we have very specific uh, sets of rules and oaths. And I Needless doubt you say, have any presence I here. Your family. We shall see. Now, my price, you say. I will, uh, out of character, I will say three influence per minute. What? As in, you wouldn't, uh, you, his price is three of your influence, meaning on your sheet you have, uh, hold on, how much influence did you have? It is... Yeah, you have 33, you would uh, go down to 30 influence, because that is a huge amount of money when it comes to that. Hmm. Well, I never agreed that, just yet. Well, I mean, I am saying this out of character, because mo uh, money in this game is a bit uh, wonky, to say yeah. the least. So, yeah, he names a number that would correlate to three of your influence. So, if you don't want to pay that, you're going to have to find some other way to uh, wrangle this man. Alright, give me a second. Uh, if, you want, if you want time to think, we can go back to the uh, other conversation. Yeah, go back to the other one. I do have an idea. Alright. All right. <laughs> so, you three, do you have anything more to discuss? All right. Um, All right. I'm leaning up against the bar, so mm. I, so do I still notice them walking out. You start them. Uh, you see them to start moving, but uh, Alexis and uh, Ren apparently uh, stops them in their in their uh, in their tracks. So they are standing right now and conversing with her. You cannot make out what they are speaking. Uh, I'm going to move to here. And as I'm walking by, I t pat um, Brecht on his right shoulder, backing him to what's going on. All right, Brecht, how do you respond? I, I'm going to... Hmm. Yes? The dramatic I will move oh. over. I'll, I'll keep up with... Tobin. What? Night. Make do you it kind of seem like we're talking. Yeah. Do you have something specific you want to do, or just 
uh, stay put. I'm just gonna stay put for now. Oh, uh, sorry, I uh, meant uh, oh, right. Tarvak, Tarvak. Oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking I wanna. Oh yeah, I wanna move around to over here, just to the other side of the bar. Okay, so click the mouse pointer in the upper left because you have the measurement selected. Why does it default to that? Uh, it's not. It's they're intentionally doing it to show you where they want to move. Oh right, right. They, they yeah, just keep right. saying that that's what they're doing. Well, you you can't just do this and say I'm going to move here. Like, right. That's, like, that helps. Well, I, that yeah. helps. You're right. So, everything good? Everything's good. Okay. Uh, and I then again uh, continuously taking notes on the events unfolding, uh, especially how uh, notes on Ren Roseless. Well, the redhead, redheaded lady. <clears throat> Back to you. Uh, your rebuttal, milady. <laughs> you really think you're worth that much, don't you? Indeed, I do. What I am selling is one of a kind. As he crosses his arms. Oh, please. I hear that all the time from people like you. What did oh, you do? You... Find some fancy upper hivers, kill them, and take their clothes? You cut oh. out the end. I, 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 got, I got it. I got what you said. Oh, nothing so base. What we are dealing with is one of a kind and if i would to trust you and your uh, money purse i would indeed show you big claims for somebody so petty uh oh is is that a challenge i hear I'm basically talking down to him, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, he slowly approaches at a... As he does that, I'm going to go mm -hmm. on comms really quickly and just say, everybody be ready. Uh, he is looking straight at you. Yeah, you, uh, you're not that, wearing a helmet. That, okay. You're not that, wearing a helmet. That, that, that would be really hard. Okay, I didn't you, I, he was I, I would... at me just yet. I thought yeah. he was still walking away. Well, no, he was walking, like, towards you now. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I should have stated that. But uh, uh, as he walks slowly towards you, and boop, he's right here. <clears throat> um, hmm. Tell you what. I will meet you at a certain location just to show you what we mean when I say one of a kind. And if you are interested in buying, you will bring uh, you will bring the payment with you. Very well. You you are a curiosity of mine. No doubt. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business meeting to prepare for. Ours, to be specific. And he turns around and starts uh, jauntily uh, uh, walking away. I'm assuming so, he gave me like a piece of paper or something with the address on it. He did. Okay. The loca a meeting location. And I'm just slowly trundling his men outside. If anyone wants to do anything, just let me know. Nothing. No one. I'm just, I'm one, just, mo one moment. I, I'd just actually hold it for like a moment. I'm, I'm trying to think. No, I'm, I want to do something. Really? I, I want. Okay. Am I allowed to move? You can just move yourself somewhere reasonable. All right. I want to move to this over, like just behind this chair, and to get a, just in case to get a good firing arc. What? What? In case. In case, indeed, because I from from my observations, I feel like this is about to get nasty. 
Oh, fair enough. Does anyone do anything else before he steps out of the door? I draw out my chainsword, but I make it look like I'm just readjusting my belt. All right. Because they're heavy as hell. And they step outside. Yeah. Can we uh, catch the last one before he walks outside? You could try. What are you planning here? Uh, stop. All right. Uh, um, I, I, I take out a piece of line and try to grapple him and bring him to like right here. Okay, roll a weapon skill test against grappling. You have a plus 30 because of surprise. Oh, jeez. This may end poorly. Yeah, they were fucking off and you guys start and shit. It's... Oh, well, this would make it interesting. Well, our first <laughs> actual fight. Is it too late to retract or do I have no, to now? Uh, no, okay. actually, it, you haven't rolled yet, so it isn't uh, dice. Yeah, yeah I, I realize how stupid this is going to end. He so. didn't take his hand off the piece. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my mouse is still on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair enough, uh, fair enough. Dice have not hit the table, or screen in this case. And they're gone. Boop. Man, oh man. This did not go the way that uh, it usually goes. I say that having run this, having run this thing two times before. But that is uh, another thing. Now, if you want to, if you want to sit around a table and talk, you can do that. Yeah, I'll go to this table. I, I recommend this one. Yeah, yeah, I'll move to that table when I see her setting. I make note of what just happened and this failed attempt of combat. And no, it didn't failed. happen. No, I mean they as oh, in they no fact that, um, that the fact that it was completely avoided. Interesting. This oh, is... oh. Hmm. my bad. I I I almost thought I had you uh, when I uh, mentioned the uh, finest ass. You son of a bitch. I almost. I mean, did you want to kill him then? I was thinking about it, but... I nearly pissed my pants when you said that. I sure was hoping you would, but... Ooh, laughing, but... But I will, I will commend you on your uh, willpower and resolve when it comes to this, so bravo. This will have consequences. Uh, so, next plan. Uh, start planning. Well, Princess, what'd you learn? We got a location of where they're going to meet us. He expects this amount of money. And you say the amount? Uh, the three of you, because you would probably not see that much in ten years. Yeah. How about we make a return, beckoning to the pouch where keep the orb? That's what I was thinking. If I had it with me, I could have probably reasoned with him more. Trust me, princess. You don't want this thing. Very well. I'll trust you on that one. But... And we learned that our friend in the corner, I whisper to her, like, try to lean in close as possible until tell that he's Inquisition. Or... Hmm. You know what I'm trying to say. Interesting. I'm going to wave him over. Right. I'm going to put my uh, hand up, look at him, and wave him over to the table. Tarvok, the ball. you have been waved over. I, how do you I take my fingers and place them to my forehead before reluctantly walking over. All right. Walk yourself over. Mouse. I'll just move you. Boop. As soon as he, I want to say that Harlock saw that. As soon as he sits down at the table, I'll actually never go. I don't blame you. I don't want to be here either. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So Inquisition sent you, did they, Tech Priest? Indeed. Huh. 
Like well, tell us who sent him. <laughs> and I've been keeping my eye on you for while you've been here, and I've made some interesting observations. Care to share, Russ Bucket? <laughs> uh, my hand digs into the table, causing probably causing some marks as I do so. Yeah. Hey, dude, hey, hey. Don't, don't mess with the man's table. And you, you gotta insult everybody. We, we just met the guy. Relax. I bought him a drink earlier. How are you? How are you? Yes, yes. Well, yes. well I'm gonna... attempts to bed the tech priest aside, that was rude. I'm gonna slide over the sigil that shows that I am uh, Inquisition as well. A pleasure, I'm sure. I'm assuming you're gonna slide it back. I do. What are you doing here? My mission, may, although has some correlation with yours, is my own, and I am not at liberty, as it were, to discuss with you four. Hmm. Well, However, well. I must say, if you call me a rust bucket again, then by the Omni side there will be consequences. Yeah, he'll bark at us. <laughs> sorry, that was out of character. And as as we talk, uh, the twitching goes down to a less noticeable degree. What do we do about him? gesturing to the man that left. Do we meet up with him? Get these heretical artifacts and execute them? Well, how long do we have, princess? A few days. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. I think we should scout out the location first. The uh, paper that you have has a certain uh, date and time on it. You recognize it as the last, um, bef uh, the last thing before they leave. So you have until that, and it is about five hours. Okay, so okay. about five hours. I retract my statement and say that instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. Well, yeah. well, well. Princess, they're expecting you and not any of the rest of us. Yeah, like I would travel alone. Upper hivers down I... here always travel with bodyguards. Well, they, did the, um, they, what, 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 did the they know, gang uh, members they notice, notice you. like Brecht and I walk in with Ego? They no doubt did. So they are under no illusion that she is by, here by herself. Uh, as they talk, I drown out most of it, but my because my focus goes completely when they say the word heretical artifacts. Yeah. Uh, we never <laughs> said that. I believe you did. Someone mm. said, find, do we find these heretical artifacts or something like that? Yeah, heretical artifacts and yep. execute them, is what you said. Oh, well, yeah. sorry. Slip of the tongue. It is. So my it focus is. goes completely... I drown out everything and try to listen in for the, anything else about these heretical artifacts. Either way, we must get moving. How long do you think it'll take to get there? If we move quick, no more than two hours. Perhaps I know a quicker way. I've been in this area for a little bit longer than you have, and I've had time to find certain entryways and exit ways, as it were, to get around quicker. You read my mind. All right. Roll Sinisians for me. <laughs> Come again? Toby, roll Sanisians as if someone uh, who said that. Oh, I was I was saying it jokingly. Yeah, well, roll Sanisians for me, just in okay, case. I guess I'm gonna look in his mind. No, this is just uh, detect psychic stuff, not mind reading. Holy shit! You still don't have Sanisians, and you're still no. making it. No, you made it. Dumb luck is dumb. Praise this... to Jesus, the RNG. Yeah, uh, 
as you say that jokingly and extend your psychic sense, you find out that this tech priest has not a, uh, no trace of psychic powers, not even latent or anything like that. Is so, he a blank? N no, uh, he has. He just the, doesn't have that much, like in his head. Like uh, it's a, it's the he's normal the background. Thing. Yeah, he has a, he has a soul. He's not blank. You can sense it, and yeah, he's not a redhead. Hey oh, oh you be. I was get. I was. I was trying to come up with one. You didn't beat me to it. <laughs> His hair is not red. It's it's gone. So. All right, guys, let's get moving then. Tech priest, show us the way. Indeed. Follow me, yeah, princess. Yeah. Say what? Can keep up. Nothing, keep up. nothing at all. You can most certainly keep up. Indeed. And I think that's a good place to end this episode. Wait, I thought we were doing a three hour one. Yeah, we'll we'll cut it we'll cut it here and um, cut it in half. Well, yeah, maybe half. Okay, so we yeah. can't keep going. Uh, yeah, we, we are we'll, gonna keep going after this one, but yeah, for episode's we, sake. Yeah, small oh, break. episodes. Okay. Yeah, maybe, so, uh, maybe, maybe five, five, ten minutes. Like we take like five or ten minutes. I need to pee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, twenty-eight. Call it even. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for another episode of Queen's Court. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Fake, would you like to say anything? Yes. Uh, to make up for the lack of episode, we will indeed be uh, putting out more than one this week. So stay tuned. All right. And I'd like to apologize because I kind of started the domino effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, screw that, screw that. We, we keep going. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm Alex Diego Queen. I love you guys. Bye.